Welcome to my YouTube channel. Live and learn and be happy. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is the Sabbath day, and here I am sharing my Bible verse with you for the day. The Bible verse is now taken from 2 Timothy 3, and I'll read from verse 1 to 7. Can you follow along? If you can see this clearly but know this that in the last days perilous times will come for men will be lovers of themselves lovers of money boasters proud blasphemers disobedient to parents unthankful unholy verse 3 unloving unforgiving slanderous without self-control, brutal, despairs of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but dis denying its power and from such people turn away. For of this sort are those who creep into households and make captives of global women loaded down with sins led away by various lust also learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth so with that being said I just want to put this out there that a lot of people who claim there is no God, they know there is a God. <laughs> they know they were brought here from their mother's womb by God. They know every creeping things upon the earth was made by God. They know the rain fall, it's by God. They know the sunshine, it's by God. They know the wind blow, it's by God. They know there is a God, but because they want to pursue, continue to pursue earthly pleasures, and indulge themselves into sinful act and behavior, they will look you in your face and tell you there's no God. Some of them are hating on God because something bad happened to them in their life, which happened when they were a child or their past loved one passed away. They blame it on God. They hating on God because nothing bad should ever or never should happen to them. They don't understand that the Bible says we wrestle against uh, flesh and blood, but against principalities and pow great powers of this earth. So you're not sitting here dealing with God only. Satan has a way of plaguing human beings to lead them in his direction and pushing them to do things in which they are not to do, indulging them into sinful act and behavior, all for the lust of money. 